What's up, everyone? Game Master 468 here, bringing the next part in my Sly 2 walkthrough. If you remember from last time, we got the Log Shopping Guide for the Lumberjack Games, and we also learned the location of the Northern Light Battery. And in this video, we're going to bug John Basson's house. And this doesn't look like John Basson's house, so. What's the deal here? If I could just get on the thingy. Uh, could do without the guards chasing me. I could also do without the, uh, the locks crushing me. Just... Okay. So, yeah, this is, this is like Jamba-san's house. What's this about, dude? What's going on, Bentley? What's going on? Oh. Oh. I'm on. Stealing the gigs. All right, so we need to crawl into this bear cave and get some radio transmitters that the bears have in their mouths for some reason. <laughs> Alright, so you have to be super quiet and not wake up the bears, because if you do, you lose. So we need to pickpocket the transmitters from the mouths and not their pockets. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But we just need to wait for them to start yawning and pickpocket the transmitter. And you do this for six bears. So be super duper careful. Okay. Pickpocket you. Jump over here. Pickpocket you. Okay, don't touch him, please. Ugh. Just, just, just back up. It's like a crazy there. Ducky. We need to do a bit of ice climbing in order to get to this bear. Get Doki. Come on. Alright. And we're about halfway there. We're halfway there. Do, 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 do. Does anyone still remember that show, Big Time Rush? I actually kind of liked that show, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, we need one more. And it's over here. We need to just do some ice climbing. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Down here. Super careful. And last one. All right, got them all. Get catch them all. All right, and we circle all the way back around. Let's get out of here before we're bear food. All right. So what's up, Bentley? Gotcha. Alright, so now we have all six transmitters. We need to stick them in six different locations. And of course I get caught by a guard. That is amazing. It's fantastic. Ten out of ten. <laughs> but yeah, we need to stick them in six locations. And that area that Bentley showed off is the first location. We're gonna head over there. We need to head over there. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what's going on. 
Yeah, I thought they were gonna catch me. I don't care. All right, head on over here. Stick that there. That's one. The next one is right there, right at John Besson's house. And I have to climb all the way back up. That's kind of annoying. Okay, so as I was saying, one of them is in John Bas is on top of John Besson's house. That's where I'm gonna stick one of them. And I believe we can get to it by climbing on here. So let's do that. Do, 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 do. And I see a clue bottle over there as well. <laughs> I think we can actually get to that while we get to the next transmitter area. Stick that right there on top of that head. Ooh, Ooh tallies, awesome. Gosh, I'm listening to the scores. <laughs> Whoa! I know, that's insane! Oh no, there's a bear! Oh man, that was exciting! Oh my gosh, that is annoying! <laughs> Alright, and with that repeat of the scores, we got to three down, we're halfway there. And we got another one right over here, really, really close by. And let's see, where's another one? Again, it's kind of hard to see the markers because of the color scheme of the sky. There's one way over there, and okay. Just walked right up to me. Got a big fan over here. <laughs> oh no! No, 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 no. Oh, oh gosh, he's right next to me. He's right next to me. Oh dear, I just fell. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, oh, rock climbing. Let's do this. Okay, it's okay. Stick that right there. <laughs> okay, we need one more. We need one more. And it's over there. No, what, did you, what were you doing? No, Sly, stop, stop. Jeez Louise, Sly, cray cray. Oh, okay, here we go, the transmitter area is right here. And we get to watch this bear and murder this flashlight guard in the process. What a beautiful sight. <laughs> And with that, we've successfully bugged John Basson's house. And now, we get to see what we get to do to prepare for the Lumberjack games, oh my gosh! After reading through the log shopping guide, it's become painfully clear that to win in the Lumberjack games, we'll have to cheat. Now, I've constructed a plan that hinges around us acquiring an eagle's egg, which is more difficult than you'd think. First, Murray needs to lure a bear into taking out the local oil main. Oh. Once destroyed, the pressurized oil should ignite and create updrafts, which uh -huh. Sly will then use to paraglide over to the eagle's nest, grab an egg, and then head back to the safe house. Thanks to Murray's undercover work at the RC Combat Club, we've learned that the Northern Light Battery is hidden in a silo nearby. Uh -huh. The battery needs some serious modification if we're going to hide inside it to sneak onto Arpeggio's blimp. First, we'll short the battery with grapple lines on local boats. Then, we'll all break into the lighthouse and sever the power flow to the battery. That way, it won't recharge. <laughs> my electrical engineering background, this plan has a 97% chance of success. Pretty good, huh? 
sure. I would prefer if that was a hundred percent, but okay. <laughs> but uh, that's going to be our mission. We need to get an eagle's egg, and we need to drain the battery. So we're gonna work on that eagle's egg first. All right. So let's see what we gotta do to get this eagle's egg. Get rid of you. Poor sturdy. No problem. See that old bear down there? His name is Grizzleface. The guards ignore him because he's blind and practically nerve dead, except for his sense of smell. If that old guy smells fish, there's no stopping him. Use Grizzleface to take out the oil man. But I don't smell like fish. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is kind of a cool mission. You need to lure this blind bear around using fish. And if you throw fish at certain objects, Grizzle Face will attack that object. Which is pretty cool. And what about these? Oh, we just ignore them and then they're all running away. <laughs> Alright, so that's one down. We need another one. Which is one over there. Now, one thing to note is that Grizzleface can't jump. But don't worry about it, because Grizzleface will somehow teleport from area to area later down the road. So, you need to jump around and get to a certain area. Don't worry about it. Just wait for more fish to come by, kill this guy, wait for all the guards to go away. And then Sly will say... We wait a minute. Yeah, he'll say he's on his way, and you just wait for him. You can't jump, so uh, you just kind of teleports. So just kind of yeah, you just kind of keep rotating the camera and just keep waiting for him, and he'll show up eventually. From where is the question? Probably not there, because that's a gap. And let's just kind of face the wall for a bit. Yeah. He kind of takes a while, too, when you have to wait for him. Here he comes. Hey, dude. Destroy this. Alright, two down. Get another piece of fish. That's a lot of fish. <laughs> okay, oh dear, oh, okay. I thought that guard was gonna catch me. Okay, we need to jump down. Actually, why am I bothering this? I, we just run to the oil main. And it's, it's easier. Because Murray can't jump when he's carrying things, so. No point in just lugging th looking it around. Ugh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me again, that was big and mighty, but not all that mighty. Okay, wait for the red flashy thing to go away, okay. Wait, still waiting for the red flashy thing to go away. Okay, now we wait for Grizzleface again. I'm gonna cut ahead to when we have to wait for, to, for Grizzleface, because like I said, he takes a while. So yeah, I'll just cut ahead to when he shows up. Or not, because he's right there. <laughs> Destroy that oil main. And we need one more. So where is it? Somewhere over there. Somewhere over the rainbow. Alright, there's the last oil main right over there, and nothing in the way to prevent us from getting to it. So now it's just a matter of waiting for Grizzleface. So like I said, I'll cut ahead to when he shows up. Here he comes. 
and he's chasing this card right towards me. Thanks, Grizzle Face. I need that. Just destroy this thing, and we're done here. Awesome! Alright, so when you do that mission, it unlocks a different... That, I thought it would have been funny if the fish showed up again. But yeah, after you do that mission, it unlocks this mission, Thermal Ride. And in that mission, well, you get to seal the egg. Now, I'm wondering... Yeah, I'm thinking for convenience, I'm going to do the Lighthouse Break-In mission first. Because when we finish that mission, that will put us right there where we need to be. Right at the top of the mission. So yeah, it's kind of unlikely me to do this, especially when I'm playing the Sly game, but... I think I'm going to do things a little bit out of order this time around, and I'm actually going to do what's going to be more convenient for us later down the road. Just kind of save us some time. So, this time I'm going to do the Lighthouse Break-In mission first, and then I'm going to get the, uh... Eagle Egg. Alright, so the mission is right over here. We need to break into the lighthouse. So let's go over here. And I better see the group job complete screen with, uh, by the end of this. Alright, so we need to climb to the top of the lighthouse in order to break in. Gonna do a bit of ice climbing, yeah! Nice and smooth transition over there. Didn't even touch the ground, oh man. So skilled. And watch out for the falling icicles. Oh dear. Kind of like that. Or you'll hurt your head. And that's not fun. And if you do get hit, yeah, you're pretty much falling all the way down to the bottom. And that's not good. But we made it. So let's climb over here. Got a guard waiting for me. So I'm just going to knock him off the edge just for kicks. And I'm going to head inside. Here we go. All right, so we need to get to the bottom of the lighthouse, but we can't do that by jumping down because, well, we got this thing. Yeah, that's that's gonna kill you in one hit, so you can't just jump down. You're gonna have to just walk down. So, yeah, that's that's great. So yeah, let's do that. Oh, don't want to jump us all. I've been studying, I've been, I've been practicing, I've, I've been doing all kinds of stuff, practicing, getting prepared for the Lumberjack Games, man. Okay, I've been waiting for this, I've been waiting for this, for this event all year, man. I've, Lumberjack Games 2014, that, 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 that's my jam, man. That, I've been looking forward to that all year, all year. Uh, yeah, I've been looking for, even bullets aren't gonna slow me down, okay? Okay, just, I'm just, I'm pumped! I'm pumped for Lumberjack Games 2014! Uh, uh, I'm okay, <laughs> so we're just gonna jump over this thing, okay? We almost got hit, but that's okay. Actually, it's not okay, we almost got hit, but... Okay, we made it! So here we go, the advanced walk mechanism, guys. Oh, man. Oh, man, this is intense. Uh, Okay, how do I... Okay, um... Okay, maybe, uh... Oh! Oh, I did it! Oh, I did it! Oh, man! Oh, man, that was intense. Ha <laughs> ha. 
But man, that was an intense lock mechanism, guys. And let me tell you, I've, I've would have been stuck on that for hours. Just I don't know how anyone's supposed to figure that out on their own. But but no, seriously. Uh, after that, Murray and Bentley will head on over there to uh, get rid of that red force field thing that kills you in one hit. And it doesn't disable it completely. I'll show you as soon as I kill that guy and get him out of the way. As you can see, we still have those red red electricity things shooting up, so it's not gone completely. So yeah, you still need to be careful. Just jump from rope to rope in order to prevent yourself from getting hit. And sometimes you gotta play the waiting game for a bit. Yeah, just jump from rope to rope in order to avoid getting electrocuted and you'll be able to get a grosser response. Okay. Okay, I gotta wait for this. There we go. And we made it. Now, let's turn the switch. And now that charger is done for. That battery is no longer gonna get charged. Whoa! And of course, slide it all the work. <laughs> all right, so uh, there we go. The charger is disabled, and that pair won't be charged anymore. Now we can go and get that eagle egg, and then I can end this video. So, like I said, we don't even need to leave the lighthouse because it's right here at the very top. So let's just climb over here. Before I turn on that mission, I'm going to get this clue bottle that I know for a fact is up here. Alright, and here we go. Time for that eagle egg. Yeah, and then there's also the fact that Sly can't swim at all, so... Oh! Yeah, Bentley, thanks for bringing that beautiful image into my head. Alright, so as Bentley said, you need to use the draft from these air current thingies in order to shoot yourself up in order to make it to the eagle's nest. I recommend going to the very top of that pole where the uh, where that clue bottle was that I just collected in order to get the most maximum height possible. I don't know if you have to do that, but... Well, you probably don't have to do that, but I just kind of like doing that to get myself a little bit of extra height right off the bat. So you just go from air vent to air vent. Until eventually you'll get to this one. Okay, never mind. You get to this one over here. And then we'll be ready to head towards the eagle egg. But you need to be careful because we're going to have some angry eagles flying towards us. And if they touch you, well, you're done for, basically. So kind of stay off to the side, prevent them from hitting you. Alright. Just go left to right, left to right. Whoa, that guy almost hit me. And we made it to the eagle egg. Alright, now let's climb up. And the egg is ours! Oh man, I'm gonna be eating good tonight! Oh wait, no, wait, never mind. Alright, we're all prepared for Lumberjack Games 2014, guys! Oh man, so awesome! So excited, man, so pumped! I'm so pumped! So pumped! Okay, hang on. There. Listen. Just, just so pumped again. Okay. 
All right, we're gonna avoid that flashlight guard. Thank you for adding that. Can you can you can you fly this way? Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing there. That was kind of creepy. Well, not creepy, just weird. And those air vents are still there, so stay clear of those unless you uh, want, you know, Crystal Face to have a snack. And we did it! We did three missions in one video! That's gotta be a new record, bro. And why do we still have the abandoning mission button? Hello? Hello? What? Hello? Uh, uh, okay, 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 okay. I thought I was stuck outside for a second. I was like, well, wait, I did badly. Badly, this is the last mission. I was. Uh, uh, but, um, yeah, Bentley has the last mission we need to do before we can do the Lumberjack games. And we will be doing his mission in the next video. See you then, everyone.